Hey, welcome to Mike's Trains, and thanks for joining me for another video. Um, unfortunately, this week's going to be another short one. Um, you know, someone had asked how things were going over here. Uh, well, my father's not getting any better, and he's on home hospice care. So I'm still running back and forth between their house, my house, you know, taking care of everything that needs to be taken care of for my father, my mother. Um, so, videos for a little bit are going to be a little short. I may miss a week here or there, but uh, I'm doing the best I can. So, let's get into what I'm going to talk about this week. And what you're looking at now is what my city scene used to look like. Okay? And you can see the buildings in there. You see the part further down where the gas station is. That's the old Shell station that I had. Um, and there's another building in there. Uh, it's another drive-in that I had built a long time ago. It was a pre-built that I kind of customized. Um, all of that's going. And I mentioned last week that the demolition in that city scene has been completed. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so you can see that everything here has been taken out. Um, all the scenery is down to the plywood. Okay, I refilled everything. I had drilled holes in here to light those buildings. Everything's been refilled. Um, so this is where we're at. The mirror that was here has been replaced. Um, if you want to know what that looked like in the, in the, uh, in the scene with the mirror, just look at the heading at the top of my YouTube page, uh, that picture of the city scene is, uh, I believe that picture is still there, but that's that's what it used to look like. I cracked off and I took out all the uh, parking lot materials that were in here. So here's how this is gonna work. And I, I've got this fairly well figured out, all right? I, I've already done my measurements, I, I, I've drawn it out. And I don't know if they show on the, on, the, on the video here, but there are lines. I have lines here and lines going this way. So the lines going this way are going to be the road, the main street that's going to run down, you know, in front of the buildings. This set of lines right here is the road that's going to connect to it. This road, as you see, it runs at an angle this way. This road is actually going to come straight in, and, and I have lines for that as well. That's going to come straight in right here. So now we have a main road this way, another road that comes in here, and another one that connects into that. So there are three roads here, which is more or less what I had before. Originally, there was a road that ran here, one that ran across this way, and everything was skewed to the, to the, to the backdrop. And then I had the mirror here. So I'm getting rid of all of that. And, and here's what I have. So I have, there's going to be this hotel, which is going to be heavily modified. Um, that's going to go right here. And then I have another building. It's going to go right next to it. This is just the front of it, which I've already started modifying. These buildings looked, the bottom floor was the same on both. They actually lined up almost perfectly with the big picture windows and I modified this one to add in more apartment windows at the bottom. So now this is a full up apartment building. All right. So this is going to go here. This is going to attach to that building right here like this. And then the next thing that's going to happen is the gas station, the shell station that I built in one of the previous videos is going to go right here and then the canopy will sit right in here like this okay and that will bump up to this street here I have some other buildings okay so I have these these are blocks of buildings that I had built um, don't really like the way they came out and they're super glued together so this is really, I gotta figure out if I can get these apart. If I can't get them apart, then they're gonna have to be uh, replaced. And someone had asked me, oh, I don't know, a few videos ago, threw out a challenge to redo some of my old buildings and make them into something new. 
Well, that's going to be this stuff right here. Okay, this building right here is the face of a large building that sat right right in this area right here. Um, so I'm repurposing that building, and, and um, we can talk more about that at another time. This building right here, the idea is to get this to fit right in here like this. So you can see my road is right here. I have to modify all of this, so I have to cut off this end building. And then I have to get rid of some of this other building stuff over here. Um, so that goes in there. Uh, what else have I got? I have another set of buildings right here. And these buildings, this building will go right in here like this. And this fits almost just like it is. I don't think I'm going to change this at all. I'm going to strip it all down and repaint it, but the configuration of this building will stay the same, and that'll fit right in here. So this, this fits here like this. This one without this building ends over here, and it comes in, and then we'll have a sidewalk that'll run this way, and it'll come down, sidewalk will come down here and follow this all the way through. Um, so that's this side of the build, of the, uh, city. Let me move the camera and we'll talk a little bit more about some of the other stuff. Okay, so now we're over here. I've moved the camera a little bit. So you can see the gas station they have here. And of course it's tilted because of the wiring. But the lines, I don't know if they show or not. I can't tell from what I'm looking at here. But this is the edge of the road right here. There'll be a sidewalk along this and a sidewalk running that way. And then I want to put I've already measured out. I have room for another building to go right here beside this gas station. And that firmly plants the gas station within the city on a corner lot. And I think that's that's pretty awesome. I'm, I'm really happy with that. Um, let me move this out of here. I'm going kind of fast because I, I want to get through all of this quickly. I don't want to waste a lot of time. So we have this building here. And I'll explain this in a few minutes. This is going to be, like I said, heavily modified. But to take up more of this space here, I think what I'm going to end up doing is building the front of a parking garage that would go with these buildings here. You've got apartments here. These are all apartments up on the tops here. This building is an apartment building. And I have to add to the end of that, to the end of this last building here, we have to add something in there. I'm not sure what yet, but something will go in there. Um, so yeah, a parking garage is going to go here, and then this road will come this way and turn, and it'll 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 go right through, right through the scenery up here. So the road is this wide; it's five inches, and then it's going to curve into here, and it'll just disappear into the into the backdrop and then I have I'll, I'll put a city backdrop behind all of this and that will be my city scene no mirrors no nothing um, I'm doing it this way because I've never done everything I've done so far where I end things into the backdrop um, I've, I've, I've kind of tired of it I, I've run my stuff into a backdrop and then done photo backdrops at the end to match it or something along that lines this time, I don't want to do that, so I'm going to do something different, and I want to end it with the road going in this way, and I don't have to butt anything into the backdrop. So that's why I'm going that route. So we have the buildings here, we have the building here, parking garage here, okay? So then we're going to move down this way. I, I may have talked about a lot of this before. Oh, and also, this building right here, Let's let, let me get this out of the way. This building right here. So these buildings, I kind of wanted to do a video, but I want to know, you know, do you guys want to see it or not? What's going to happen with this? Number one, they're only going to be an inch deep. Okay, so they're, they're, they're wall flats, right? So I'm going to take a kit and turn it into wall flats. So all of these buildings back here are an inch thick with an inch of sidewalk in front of them, right? So this is going to be Higby's Department Store from Christmas Story. And because I want something that you can't buy, 
and I'm looking for something. I want something a little more custom. What I'm going to do, I started building this one, and I think I'm going to build this, and maybe I'll sell it to somebody. I don't know, once it's done. Um, but I have another kit just like this. Actually, I, I, I found a deal on these. So I actually had three of them. Um, so what I'm going to do is this sidewall right here, I'm going to bring this this sidewall right here, and I'm going to add it to the front wall here. So this front wall will be one, two, three, four windows long. And I'm going to take another one of these side walls and I'm going to add it to this side. So now there are eight windows along the front. This last window, I want to cut that out and add a section of brick wall right there. So now it's only six windows long. On both sides, we're going to do that. And then this section, this row of apartment windows, I want to cut those out of there. And we're going to make those into giant picture windows to somewhat go with these here. Um, I did some looking at the Higby's department stores, and this second floor apparently is a shopping floor, and they use giant picture windows throughout this second floor here. And then the top three floors will end up being apartment. So it's a lot of work to be done with this, and I can't finish any of this until I get this building done. I can't finish any of this. So if you're interested in seeing all of that done, let me know. Um, and I won't start anything with it until I'm ready to start doing videos. Uh, if you don't, if you're not that interested and it, you'd rather see some of this other stuff more, more so, then I will just do this in my spare time and I'll get it done and then you'll just see it finished. Um, so let me know what you'd like to see. Um, so that's the project with that. Um, and that, like I said, that goes along with this and then a parking garage here. So that takes care of this whole side, this whole city side here. Now you ask, let's move down a little further. Over here, this is where this is now where our used car dealer that I built is going to go. So that is right here. That's going to sit right in here, like this. Okay. So now we have the Car King used cars. And then, and then we have our shopping mall. So the strip mall is going to go pretty much right here just like that and it works out perfectly so the road comes right here if the lines are showing you'll be able to see them I don't know but the road comes right here and it just goes right off the layout I have drawn out already I've drawn out my sidewalk sections there's an entrance here entrance here we have an entrance over here and an entrance way down here okay Sidewalk runs here, 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 and here, which goes across the tracks and connects us to the city over there. So that's how all this ties together. Now, I had built originally a dirt road here, which goes to my drop-down bridge, and if you haven't seen that, go back and check the videos for it. Um, there's a full waterfall. I put a lot of work into that. So I don't want to lose that. So my dirt road is here. I just have to rebuild it and reconnect it to the to the tarred road over here. This side of the road is going to be uh, tall grass. Um, mostly. It's going to be like a field kind of a thing. Because I don't want to put any tall trees or anything here. Because they're just going to get broken, right? You don't want to be reaching over things tall to get to stuff back here. My tracks are here. You don't want to interfere with any of that. So that's the whole idea, right? I have enough room over here for a row of parking. I have enough room for a row of parking here, a row of parking down the center, and then a row of parking right in front of the stores, and then a row of parking in front of this section of stores. Everything fits just the way I need it to fit. And that will finish my city scene. So, I got a lot of work. Now I am going to do these parking lots. All of these parking lots here. I'm going to start at this end and I'm going to work my way that way. All right. So I'm going to start with these parking lots. Now I'm not going to paint this plywood. 
All right, I, I just don't I, I don't like the idea of that. And the roads are also not going to paint the plywood. I'm going to do those out of uh, I believe I have fifteen thousandths. I think it's fifteen thousandths, maybe twenty thousandths uh, sheet styrene, and I'm going to make all of that out of that. I'm going to paint it upstairs in the spray booth. I'm going to stripe everything upstairs, then bring it down here and glue it onto the layout. That way I've got a nice smooth flat surface that everything can attach to and everything can go on and it'll look great. So that's that's the idea and the same now I haven't decided over here if I'm going to use the sheet styrene for the roads and all of this. I may, I may not. This is actually fairly smooth. Um, it's been painted once already this is actually uh, tempered masonite, so it's smooth to begin with. Uh, so that, that may end up staying like that, and I may just paint everything right onto the masonite here. But this side over here, I'm making everything out of sheet styrene, and then we're going to go like that. So uh, the end result will look much better. Um, that's how I did all the roads by the train station and the maintenance depot, all that stuff. Any of the roads, if they weren't dirt roads, uh, they were done with sheet styrene, and it looks awesome. So that, my friends, is what I have for this week. Um, I haven't had a chance to actually get on it. I mean, you can see I've done a lot of work. I stripped all this out. Um, some of this back here is going to have to go away, and I don't know what I'm going to do with all of this. It may stay. It may not. I haven't decided yet. But I, the big part was getting these buildings worked in here, measuring for parking lots and road width, all of that kind of stuff. So everything is now placed. And I think I'm ready to start putting this stuff in. We start by probably start by building the parking lots in this road section that's going to run through here. Um, so I'll probably do a video for the roads and the parking lots, striping and all that stuff. So you can see exactly what I'm doing and the way I'm going to do it. Um, I know you can find a ton of other videos on how to do that stuff. I've watched them. Some of them I find a little complicated. Some of them I didn't really care for the results. So I'm going to do it the way I'm going to do it. Take it for what you will. So, and then also let me know guys, if you'd like to see that building and how I do the modifications on that. I'm, I'm almost ready to start that. I'd say in the next two weeks um, I'm probably going to start cutting up the walls and getting things put together to make the longer department store. And uh, if you're interested in that, we'll do that. And yes, that would be another building series. I know y'all, some people were didn't really like that I was doing so many building series in a row. But unfortunately, I need these buildings to do my scenery. So that's kind of the way it's working out. Um, if you're not interested, we'll just go on and we'll start doing, you know, the, the regular sceneries and the roads and all that stuff. Um, but this will encompass the challenge that someone gave me to reuse old buildings, repurpose them and reuse them. There you go. So it's, it's here. It's coming. Um, so anyway, that's all I've got for this week. That's the, I really don't have anything else. Um, I'm hoping to get video out for next week on starting these parking lots because I want to get this area done. Um, but I can't promise at this point. Uh, but I, I'm trying real hard. So anyway, I, I think that's it for this week. So until next time, happy modeling.